May 29, 2023, Zamfara State Indigents came from far and near to join other residents in Guseu, the state capital, to witness the swearing-in of the fifth civilian executive governor of Zamfara State, Dr. Daud Adawal, who was elected under the platform of the People's Democratic Party. Speaking after the swearing in ceremony, he made bold his mission to have a purposeful leadership built in honesty and transparency with topmost accountability by running an all inclusive and result oriented government. I make this solemn promise to you that starting now and every day for the next four years, inshallah. I and my deputy will devote every ounce of our time and energy to the service of our dear state. I stand here to assure you that I am the governor for all the people of Dumbo State. I am prepared to provide the needed purpose of leadership, take tough decisions, and make all necessary sacrifices to better the lot of our people. I assure and give all of the sundry commitment that the government I will lead will be honest, transparent, accountable, inclusive, and result oriented. We have placed emphasis on six principles as core in our drive to rescue some of our states, namely security agriculture and food security, education, economy, healthcare, and empowerment. Insecurity is one of the major problems affecting the state today. Terrorism, arson, kidnapping, cattle rustling, and banditry are daily threats that we face as people. Sadly, Zampara has become synonymous with insecurity and other forms of social degradation. What we require is a rethink of strategies, policies, and robust implementation and review mechanisms as part of our wholesome adjustment. For we cannot continue to do the same thing over and over and expect different thoughts. My government will recognize the role and responsibility of the federal government and will work very closely to enhance our internal security. Despite inheriting an empty treasury, Governor Dauda Lawal has kept to the campaign promise of the rescue agenda to rescue and rebuild Zamfara State. To hit the ground running, Dr. Lawal highlights his six principles which his government will hamper on to rescue the state. Security tops the agenda and Governor Dauda's administration seemed to be tackling it headlong. Seven months down the line, the Zamfara state government has been alive in its responsibility. One of such a periodic visit to military formation to keep a tab on the operation and areas of need. This is special thanks from me on behalf of my government. Whenever we call upon Brigade Commander in a desperate situation, the General is ever ready. 
I remember when this incident started in Zurumi town here, we called open him and he said, okay, consider it done. And it was done. And you guys are still here sacrificing your life, your comfort for some of us to survive. This is commendable. And I must thank you. Honestly, I cannot thank you enough. If you go to that camp and see the faces, especially young men and women, and the women in particular, you will feel terrible to be under this kind of situation. But I believe what I saw today and what I'm seeing right here, I believe it's just a matter of time this banditry will come to history, inshallah. And therefore, thank you for this. And I'll encourage you to do more, even with the little that we're doing. Just look at it. You're doing, I know you're doing service to humanity. You're serving the nation. But with that still, we appreciate you. And we will continue to encourage you to do more, inshallah. Thank you. Visit to internally displaced person camp and communities attacked by bandits, particularly in Zermi, Maru and Safi local government areas of the state. I want to use this opportunity to ensure you to, to, to inform you that government is doing its and government will continue to do its best to make sure we protect life and property. Therefore, I'm appealing to you very soon all of you will move back to your respective villages or communities, inshallah. <laughs> and we pray to Almighty Allah to bring an end to this unfortunate situation we are facing in Zamfar State and Nigeria at large. We, the people of Zulmi local government, all the people of Zulmi local government, both male and female, we are very appreciate and we are very happy for the Excellency Dr. Dauda Lawandere in his arrival to Zulmi local government to come and get kindly busy to us on seeing what is happening when the bandits has been attacked our local government. And we are very appreciate. We pray for God Almighty to help him in one way or the other as he consider with us for the thing what is happening to us in Zulmi local government. We are very happy and would appreciate that. And we will pray for God Almighty to help him much more. Uh, we don't have anything to say rather to, than to thank His Excellency for this wonderful visit that he visited our community on the incident that happened to our community so far about the killing, kidnapping, banditry attack that attack in our locality. And this is what is happening within the two local or oh, three local governments so far. And we are sure with the visit of His Excellency. We are assured, inshallah, victory will be on our side. Committed to curbing the lingering insecurity, Governor Daudalawal approved the recruitment of 4,200 community protection guards with 300 persons picked from each of the 14 local government areas of the state. <laughs> This visit, no doubt, gave a reassurance to these visibly elated members of the Community Protection Guards at the training ground during the visit by the Governor Daudalawal. The Community Protection Guards are currently undergoing rigorous physical training that would prepare them to assist the security agencies with actionable intelligence to combat insecurity. On the flip side, the Zafra state government, through collaborative operations with security operatives, has identified and successfully neutralized key bandits keeping terrorizing the state. Some of the big weight bandits caught up in the web of these operations were the mastermind of the abduction of students of the Federal University Grisseau.
further secure the lives and property in the state. However, Governor Lawal sought military support and presence during a visit to the Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa, at the Defense Headquarters and the National Security Advisor, Malam Nuhuribado, in Abuja. As part of efforts to deliver its principle on education in the last seven months of his administration in office, it's worthy of note that the present administration enrolled and paid for all students who in the last three years have been unable to sit for the West African Examination Council WAG Senior Secondary Certificate of Education SSCE, and National Education Council due to unpaid fees by the former government. The payment of this backlog owed by the former administration led the council to withhold results of students from year 2020, 2021 and 2022, but were later released in November 2023. Uh, when this administration of uh, His Excellency Dr. Alawal came into existence, we met a very, very uh, bad infrastructural facilities in schools across the state, not only the basic education level, but even the senior secondary level, as well as the tertiary level. Therefore, there is this urgent need to intervene to ensure that conducive atmosphere is provided for children to be able to learn and for teachers to be able to teach in those uh, uh, schools. That's why the uh, governor decided to ensure that there is an urgent intervention to make sure those schools are put into shape. And uh, as you have gone around to see, it's not only about the, I mean, uh, renovating the classrooms or building uh, uh, new, new classrooms. All the classrooms that are going to either be built or renovated are going to have furniture for pupils and for teachers. We met a very, very long list of debt as far as the examination bodies are concerned. From uh, uh, 2014 to 2018, the state is owing NECO 1.2 billion naira. 2020, 2021, 2022, the state is owing the NECO examination body about uh, 382 million naira. And uh, the government that left was not ready to pay for the 2023 NECO examination. It was the inception of this government that decided we must do something and uh, a letter was sent to the NECO and the NECO graciously accepted and uh, allowed uh, the Forest State to be registered. And uh, from everything, if you ask around, you see that the students wrote their exams for 2023 and uh, the results were, have been released and students are now accessing their results. And we have already agreed with uh, NECO that in a very short time, between January to March, by the grace of God, the state government will pay for the 2014 to 2018 amount of money which we are going to pay instrumentally. And uh, with this, we believe students will be able to now access their results and then go for further studies instead of roaming about sitting down uh, just like that. On the 14th of November 2023, Governor Dauda Lawal, through a statewide broadcast, declared a state of emergency on education in the state, starting off with the construction and renovating of 245 schools, provision of two seater desks for over 9,000 pupils, and training and retraining of teachers and education managers at all levels and subject areas across the 14 local government areas of the state. However, to sustain minimum level of quality in education delivery, the government suspended the issuance of licenses to private education providers in the state. The Zamfara state government under Governor Lawal has paid students tuition fees and allowances on scholarships in various countries including Sudan, Cyprus and India. This ensures they can continue their studies without interruption due to debt incurred by the previous government. Governor Lawal has approved sponsoring 50% of Zamfara indigents admitted into Federal Government Girls College, GUSO, for the 2023-2024 academic sessions for quality education. Governor Dauda Lawal constructed additional classrooms and renovated the examination halls in the School of Health Technology, SAFI. In the health sector, good and qualitative health care delivery is assured with Governor Lawal's organized special modified medical outreach program to address critical health care needs of the people in different areas.
This is the first healthcare initiative since the creation of the state as it caters for free medical services to people with cases of cataract extraction, groin swellings, vesicovaginal fistula repairs VVF, and health education. So far, the outreach has achieved significant milestone as it has successfully carried out operation on over 1,850 cases. On a high productivity startup this year, however, Governor Dauda Lawal flagged off the Nigeria COVID-19 Action Recovery and Economic Stimulus Program with the distributions of fertilizers, farm inputs and agricultural assets to 19,000 farmers in the state. We have over 338 farmers across the Fulchin local government, which among them are 27 female farmers. And the good news, to tell you, Your Excellency, that the future is bright. More than 35% of these farmers are between the age of 18 and 35. That means if we continue in this trajectory, we are going to have future farmers that can feed Nigeria and West Africa at large. The prohibition of the power tiller is a crucial step towards enhancement agricultural productivity in the state. This is a more considering the rate of animal attractions and the crucial components of agricultural production due to the absence of the work bulls as a result of the cattle rustling attributed to the informed insecurity that fell in the state. This will be, however, be a thing of the first at the flag of ceremony of the Fadama 3 project held at Zamfara State Ministry of Agriculture, the says his government is targeting beneficiaries from 14 local government areas of the state. Through this program, 100,000 farmers will be empowered with the necessary equipment and seed over the next four years. For the upcoming dry season, we have allocated 33,000 bags of fertilizer which comprises of 22,000 bags of NPK and 11,000 bags of urea. In addition, over 700 power tillers and seed for size, I mean for rice and maize, will be distributed to 19,000 farmers across the state. What are the seas live? In the last few years, residents of Guso, the state capital, have been faced with Sarah's water challenge. With the intervention of the present administration, the challenge of portable water in the city centre is now history. Now, there is no water. We don't used to have water during the dry season. We used to lack water, and we find it with water supply very difficult. But during, from the recession of this new regime, there is enough water that we don't even lack water at all. We don't even know we are in dry season. But we hope this will continue and it will not stop soon. The progress this government brought was I can tell you that the inception of this administration as they came in there is no single drop of water to the inhabitant of the so town. When the governor come came into action we asked him we tell him the details of our problems and he swing into action by providing our immediate needs. The immediate need is power source. I am now assuring you that we are on dedicated life. You can see by your naked eyes, the dedicated line, even if there is no any light in any place in Guso, you can get it here. This is a well done 
that we can tell our leader that he has achieved. It has never happened. For almost 20 years back, by providing this dedicated line to water works here in Guso Town, we are now using this opportunity to produce the quantity or the volume required to send to the inhabitants of this town. Our electric motors get bad. But with the inception of this administration, we tell His Excellency that we have problems sir, on our pumping machines. He gave us all necessary support. The heartbeat of government are the civil servants, and these group are not left out in Governor Lawal's Good Governance and Accountability Project. So their joy knows no bound with prompt payment of salary and bonus. But they want Governor Daudel Lawal to expand development to other sectors. I feel so delighted to have seen what he has done yesterday because uh, actually I didn't even see the circular until later on that I came back to work and I saw the circular that the government will pay 30% of the salary as a 13th month salary. So uh, in the night, I just saw the alert. And many people have received, I, I don't think even in Zamfara State, there is no one that has not received this alert right now. So the government has uh, fulfilled what it has said. So people are so happy for what he has done because nobody expects the government have done this and he has come with something uh, new in the state. He has changed the conception of the people on how the government is treating the civil servants. The previous government has left the civil servant without salary since between, I think, February, so up to me. And it was later on that uh, after he came into the government, he made sure that he paid the outstanding payment that the civil servants are owing the government. So to, to us or to the people of Zamfara State at all, uh, we have seen this as an achievement because nobody expects the government to have done that. Well, um, I was not surprised at all because uh, this is the man who sold his, uh, his campaign agenda. So the moment I saw that uh, salary, uh, I know that this is the right man that we can all trust. And um, I'm very sure that uh, many, come, uh, many things will come. Three months into his administration, Governor Dadalawal flagged up phase one of the road construction that marks the commencement of the urban renewal project in the Zafra state capital. The first phase involves the reconstruction and improving 3.5 kilometers of township roads in Goso, the state capital, and enhancing the drainage system, which is procured to cover Belo Barrow Roundabout, Old Market Road, Belo Barrow Roundabout, Central Police Station Road, Belo Barrow Roundabout, Government House Road, and Guanar Yan Keke, Emir's Palace, Kankin Rua Road. The urban renewal project's first phase involving reconstructing and improving 3.5 kilometers of township roads in Guso, the state capital, and enhancing the drainage system. The construction awarded to construction giant Ranches Nigeria Limited. States, no governor like Dauda Lawandere since to now. So Dauda is a very, very, very good, intelligent somebody to like the people of Zampara State. The remaining governor uh, pull back. All what you tell you is a liar. 
Amadis Deoda, or what he say he want to do. Inshallah, tomorrow he will do it. I've been Guzo past 30, 30 years now. Honestly, I'm very happy for this work that they are doing. In fact, the governor is trying. But I pray that God Almighty will give him more grace, more power to continue. I pray that God will uphold him. Because it's not an easy job anyway, but we're really happy. We are happy for what he's doing, for the work he's trying to do in Zafara, for trying to make Zafara be the best state. Another construction of a 14-kilometer dualized road from Government House to Lalan Mareri, Government House to Sule Manunchi Pharmacy, Dandarai Mosque to Nasia Pharmacy, and the reclamation of the Government House gate and landscape, amongst other projects. Youth in the state also enjoyed the dividend of democracy with the inauguration of Governor Dauda Lawal Zafra Youth Sanitation Program, ZIOSAP, an integral to the urban renewal project to maintain a hygienic, clean and safer state capital, Guso, and its environs. The project has provided jobs for about 1,500 youths in the state capital and the initiative is gaining momentum and has been successfully taken to the other local government across the state. Other key landmark achievements of the Daudalawal government are in the area of clean ecosystem, building of five earth dams across five local government areas to provide portable drinking water for people and animals and for irrigation services and the creation of job opportunities for young people. With existing projects nearing different stages of completion, Governor Dauda Lawal promises to deliver the dividend of democracy to the people of Zafara State in the city centre and rural communities across the state.